Hey there folks, Mark Johnson from Tech Snobs. I'm uh, going to do a BlackBerry Bold 9900 series versus the new BlackBerry Z10. Um, just kind of give you an idea, if, if you're coming from an older BlackBerry, kind of what to expect if you're going to the new uh, BlackBerry Z10. First off, we're going to start off with the hardware and design. You're looking at the hardware and design of both of these, and basically it's a pretty drastic difference. Um, you're looking at a device, you know, with the BlackBerry has, uh, the 9900 has... BlackBerry OS 7 on it, excuse me, and it also has, it still has a touch screen, um, but obviously the screen is much smaller uh, compared to the 4.2 inch versus, I think it's like a 2.7 on the original BlackBerry, so that's one thing there, um, you know, to, that you'll notice right away, along with, there's no keyboard on the Z10, now if you're still using the BlackBerry because of the keyboard, um, it's going to have a keyboard model coming out with the touch screen soon, but that's definitely, you know, to be determined, like, as far as when we'll see it. I, I want to say by the end of the month, but we should see something on that soon. Uh, some other things uh, to think about when you're looking at the Z10 uh, versus the 9900 is that the size of it. Um, you know, it is definitely a little bit, zoom out a little bit, it's definitely a little bit um, bigger when you're looking at the dimensions of it and it's you know that's one of the you know the drawbacks you have with it you know just a bigger device if you're not into big phones if you're keeping a blackberry around because of the, the size of it then that could be a definite turn off there as well now let's get to the main thing um the main thing with it let's go to the operating system and performance now like i said this has os7 and i'll give you kind of a quick example of just some of the the major enhancements been made to the operating system number one if you want to go to, say, turn on Wi-Fi, like on the BlackBerry 7 OS, you, you go into the menu at the top. You can use the touch screen or this little um, trackpad down here. But then you'd have to click on Wi-Fi. And then after you click on Wi-Fi, then you have to click on wireless network. And then you'd have to click on the network you want to select. You know, so it's, you know, quite a few steps to get to it. I mean, and then if you didn't use the touch screen on it, you'd have to hit the black scroll up and then you have to scroll around till you find the uh, options button and then you go to networks and then you go to Wi-Fi. So you can see there's a lot more uh, just steps you'd have to do to get to it using this device. Whereas on the BlackBerry 10 OS, you scroll down from the top, click on Wi-Fi, turn Wi-Fi on. As soon as the networks come up, I can click on the network and then that's that. Um, so that's definitely... A cool um, you know feature of it another thing about the operating system is like how multitasking and things work like looking at the rec the the BlackBerry 9900 if you hold down the BlackBerry button you get apps that you could quickly switch to the browser messaging you know they're pretty much preset apps that you could jump to but on the Z10 it's literally anything that you open up so like hypothetically if I open up the calendar then if I open up the browser so anytime I open up an app all I have to do is just literally swipe up and it will bring you back um, to all the apps you have running in the background and you can easily jump in between uh, each one of those apps so that's pretty cool you can jump in the calendar swipe up again jump to settings the Wi-Fi so definitely that's a cool uh, feature as well there when it gets to you know the operating system and the performance software side there's a lot of other little things Namely, with the Z10, you can use more apps that you find on the Android store. You can actually install Android apps on this phone um, by if you hook your phone into the computer and you copy the files over. But one that you don't have to do that for is, you know, obviously like Angry Birds. You can go to the store, you can download something like Angry Birds. There's several apps on here that are very similar to like what you'll see on the iPhone and Android. So that's definitely a plus. Whereas on the 9900, you have very limited uh, in the app store. I'm not on the wireless network now, but it's not a lot in the app store anyway that you can really get. Um, for instance, YouTube, it takes you to a YouTube link, which the same thing does on the Z10, but it is a bigger screen and, you know, it looks much better. The screen resolution being uh, 720p on the Z10. Uh, let's get to the camera. Now, getting to the camera on both of these devices, um, they both have camera buttons. Actually, excuse me, the Z10 doesn't have a camera button, but... If you when you swipe up, every time you swipe up, it's always at the bottom, but it's also there just by default. So if I click on camera, 
let's just see if we can get something to take a picture of. Now, camera is definitely better on the Z10. Um, is an 8 meg megapixel. You do have to wait for the autofocus. Sometimes I like um, cameras that, you know, you tap on it to autofocus, but nonetheless, you can do it. And it takes pretty quick pictures. On this one, um, same idea, but it's a little bit slower, obviously. So, camera quality is definitely the best it's ever been on the Z10. I mean, the BlackBerry 9900 necessarily was never known for the camera quality, but, you know, it could get the job done as far as uh, what you would need it to do. I and mean, now we're going to talk about the wireless and the performance, network and radio performance. Overall, both of them work fine in that regard. I mean, the new they both support 5 gigahertz uh, wireless networks. They both, um, you know, GSM networks, 4G LTE networks and all that. So that works fine. They're both on every carrier. Um, so there's really nothing noticeably wrong there. They usually have typically uh, worked out pretty well. One thing I will say about the BlackBerry uh, Z10 though is the battery life. Now if you're coming from a BlackBerry 9900 or any one similar, it is much, much, I get much less battery life on the Z10. It's only got an 1800 milliamp hour battery and even though, I can't even remember the exact battery on the bolt, it's probably, you know, anywhere from 1300 maybe to 1500, but the battery life on the Z10 because of all, you know, the the newer operating system, the multitasking, all this other stuff has got going on, the big bright screen, 720p, it's got NFC, it's 4G LTE. This phone, it doesn't get through a whole day and it's just not going to. You definitely have to want to carry a charger around. You can um, swap out the battery, which is good, but definitely keep that in mind. So this is a kind of, my overall conclusion is basically if you're coming from a BlackBerry Bold, it's vastly different. I mean, and there's really nothing. The only thing about them that I noticed that are alike is when I go to settings. Um, and that was the only thing that I could see, go back to the main setting, that looks similar in in a lot of respects to the BlackBerry. I mean, those were the only things that I saw that were very similar. Other than the, the settings menu, everything else is different, um, which is a good thing. So definitely keep that in mind when you're taking a look at the Z10 if you're going to upgrade from your BlackBerry 9900. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the site, tech-snobs.com, for more coverage. Take care.